Hi, I'm going to show you how to create these name badge templates so that you can print the TEDx name badge with the TEDx name badge image. So first, I've saved the image to my desktop as well as the list. So here's the image and here's the list of participants, which if I open that up, you'll see it has the names and what people like to talk about. Okay, close that. I need a blank Word document. In this document, we're going to use the mail merge. So I go to mailings, and then I want to start a mail merge, and then I'm going to use the step-by-step -step mail merge wizard. These name badges are considered labels, so I select labels and hit next. The label option is 74541 clip badge, and I'm going to select OK. And then I'm going to go next, and now I'm going to choose that list that I saved to my desktop of the participants. I want the first sheet, and I verify that what I'm looking at is what I need. I click OK. OK, then next. This is where we start to add. So we want to add the names. So insert the names, and then insert the like and I like to use that more items over here for that. So now I'm going to center this and I'm going to format it the way I want. So I'm going to center it, I'm going to make it bold and bigger, and then be sure to put a space between them because it won't know to do that. And then I'm going to put this in. This one I'm going to move to the left like so, and this one I'm going to make bigger. I think that should be about right. Okay, then I'm going to insert the image, and we're going to see this. So when I go to insert picture, and I'm going to choose my image, insert that. Now what I want to do with this is I want to change the position uh, Actually, I want to do this. I want to do behind text under the wrap text. Then that will go... That's where it needs to be, but these are not. So now... The position is off. Okay, so the position is off, so I put thing... And I'm going to shift enter until it's in place. Now it looks like... It this one is off, so I want to move that. And this one's a little too big, so I'm going to make that smaller. And shift enter. Okay, and this one's off just a little bit. So we're going to make that smaller, the space. And then that's what I want. So that looks pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and update all labels. And that's where we get that. And then we click Next, and we're going to preview it. And you can check to see if everything's lined up correctly. Looks good to me. And then you can complete the merge and print. Or you can edit individual labels if one of the names is too long or something. And you can scroll to that, fix it, and then print. So that's how you complete the mail merge.